Esselamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuhu. Rabbi şerah li sadri ve yessir li emri ve hlul uqdatan min lisani yefkahu kavmi. İnşallah we are going to start <coughs> explaining or giving the lessons for Medina books, the six books. We are going to start with the first book inşallah. In that book we have ten lessons. Other books they could be same or more. Every each lesson, the student should <coughs> make a quiz to pass to the next lesson. If the quiz is not done or fail, the student cannot access to the next lesson. Okay? And after every book, we issue a certificate for the student. As we said before, we start the groups. Yeah? Inshallah, may Allah give us tawfiq wa ma tawfiq illa billah and we start inshallah the first lesson today with the demonstrative pronoun hada hada means this okay hada in arabic means this to show something close to us hada has the same meaning as this. Try to remember this, that's very important. For example, we say, this is a house. We say in Arabic, هَذَا بَيْتٌ هَذَا بَيْتٌ هَذَا means this, and بَيْتٌ means a house. A house. Okay? This a house. We are going to put the vowels for you in these lessons, but in future lessons, inshallah, we are not going to put any vowel. Yeah? That's the beginning. Bayton. Good. Hada Bayton. These are the words. Yeah. Hada means this. And Bayton means a house. Okay? That is. So if we try to read this sentence in English, we are going to say this a house. This a house. We are not going to understand it, but if we add in English, is, it should be a proper sentence. Yeah? So, in English, we have to say, <coughs> add the copula, yeah? The copula verb. In Arabic, we don't have the copula verb. We do not have it at all. Yeah? Doesn't exist the copula word, a verb. We do not have in Arabic this copula verb. Okay? So, this is a house. That's the meaning of? our sentence okay so this is used for closed items we are going to see in the next lesson what we use for the far sentences we can say هذا رجل هذا رجل this is a man هذا رجل this is a man. Okay. Hada waladun. This is a. This is a boy. This is a boy. Good. 
هذا أزواج مسجد okay. هذا مسجد This is a This is a Good, masjid This is a masjid This is a masjid MashaAllah Okay, so we have This kind of word here now We're going to study them inshallah one by one, yeah? هذا رجل هذا ولد ان هذا مسجد يا with the vowels we can say هذا but in future you have to you have to at least now to recognize the word هذا with no vowels okay هذا with no vowels is this all right inshallah okay now we have something <coughs> to say هذا is is when we read it we have to make هذا long one okay هذا we add alif here we add a long vowel and med to say هذا. But when we write it, we can write like this, and we can write like this as well. Okay? So, uh, but when we read, we have to extend ها. هذا. هذا. Okay? هذا. Good. So we put this here to add it to the decor. Yeah? MashaAllah. <clears throat> we go for the our first lesson and we say in the example Hada Baytun Hada Baytun means <clears throat> this is a house. Hada Masjidun. This is a masjid. Hada babun. This is a door. Hada kitabun. This is a book. Hada qalamun. This is a pen. Hada miftahun. This is key. <coughs> Last, hada maktabun. This is a desk. Hada sarirun. This is a bed. Hada kursiyun. This is a chair. In this first page, <coughs> try to remember these nine words. Baytun, masjidun, babun, kitabun, qalamun, miftahun, maktabun, sarirun, and kursiyun. Okay? You have to understand or memorize these nine words. So, the first page. Done. Alhamdulillah. So now <clears throat> we are going to study some grammar of this sentence. Hada Beitu. Okay. Hada Bayton means this is a house. This is a house, Hada Bayton. So in this lesson, we learn this. And these two words are nouns. We don't have a verb here. It means this sentence starts 
with a noun and followed by a noun. Okay? <clears throat> we call this Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya start with Al Mubtada. We will see more this in future, inshallah. What is Mubtada? Mubtada is a noun, <clears throat> not we start with it, the sentence. And Baytun is called Khabar. It gives us the information. Hada give the sentence after Hada. What do you mean by Hada? Hada Baytun. That's complete sentence. Hada is Mubtada. Baytun is Khabar. Okay? And uh, oh, you remember as well, the copula verb is not in Arabic. Hada Baytun. We do not have this one. This one does not exist in Arabic. It is or it should be empty. Okay? We do not <coughs> have it at all. Okay. Next lesson will be how to ask. Ma hada? Ma hada? How to say ma hada in Arabic? Ma hada? Ma hada? What is the meaning of ma hada? We have to put the vowels or no? We should put the vowels for them. Okay, no problem. Ma hada? Ma ha? Ha? And ha is, as always said, long. Ma hada? <coughs> ma hada is to make it a sentence, yeah? Ma hada means, if you say ma hada, we mean, what is this? What is this? Okay? Ma hada? <coughs> what is this? And then we answer by the sentences we learn. We answer by Hada Masjidun. Hada Masjidun. Or Hada. Bayton. Hada Bayton. Ma hada hada masjidun hada Bayton. Okay? Is this correct? Hada masjidun means this is a masjid. Hada Bayton means who can tell me what is Hada Bayton? This is a house. Okay? Good. This is a house. So we said the copula verb do not exist in Arabic. Remember this, is, have, do not exist in Arabic. Okay, we have another question. <coughs> we ask, a, hada, a hada, okay? Same, you get the vowels. A, fatha, ha, <clears throat> the ahada uh, is this. Well, ahada uh, means is this, yeah? Ahada, uh, we have to put something. Ahada uh, baton. Ahada uh, baton. Okay? You have to put a question mark. Ahada uh, baton. Ma hada question mark. What <clears throat> is this? As well here. Remember that the copular verb 
you don't have it in Arabic, okay? You have to understand this very well. We don't have ma, copular verb, had. It's ma, had. We understand the sentence as, what is this? A had a baitun, a had a baitun, baitun, try to put your vowel for you. Bay. Okay. In future, we are not going to put the vowels. Okay, you have to recognize the words and you have to read it with no vowels. A had a baton is this a house? Is this a house? A had a baton is this a house? Again, I will remind you. Here the copula verb is transformed by a. Okay, a is here is coming before the sentence to is used for asking. We Make as a here, a is replaced with this kind of copula verb. Okay, in a question, a had a baton means we are looking a building, we don't know exactly what is it. Is it a supermarket? Is it a masjid? Is it a house? Yes, is this a house? A had a baton if it was a house, if it was a house. We say, yes, it is a house. Yes, it is a house. Then, the baton. Okay, we answer by affirmative answer. If it is not a house, we say, no, it is not a house. No. And we give la the right sentence. Hada masjidun. La hada masjid. La as well. We have the fatha here. Yeah. La hada masjidun. Okay. Is it all right? We have two kind of answers here. If it is a, a house. We say, yes, this is a house. If it's not a house, we give the answer by different word. La hada masjid. Yes, this is a house. Okay. Try to put this here. Yes, this is a house. No. No, this is a masjid. Okay? No, this is a masjid. It's not a house, this is a masjid. Is this all right? So we have in this page, Mahada. What is this? Had a masjid, this is a masjid, or had a bait, so this is a house. Another question from a question we use a it's called ismul istifham or harful istifham. We use it to ask questions. We have another harf istifham as well. We have two a and hell. We are going to see hell in next lessons. A had a bait on is this a house? We have two. Either we say naam, yes, yes. Yes, this is a house, or we say no, no, and give the right answer, yeah? 
No. Stand for لا. Yes. Yes, this is a house. نعم, هذا بيت. لا, هذا مسجد. No, this is a masjid. We go to our page, inshallah. ما هذا? What is this? هذا بيت. ما هذا? What is this? هذا بيت. This is a house. هذا بيت. This picture. Yes, it is. So we say نعم. نعم هذا بيت. We ask for a shirt. ما هذا? What is this? هذا قميص. This is a shirt. هذا سرير. Is this a chair? Is this a bed? We have a chair picture here. So it's not a bed. It is لا. هذا كرسي. No, it is a chair. Okay. All this vocabulary you have in the first page, you have to learn them first. Yeah. We have a pen picture. We ask هذا مفتاح. Is this a key? Say, no, it's not a key, it's a pen. لا, هذا قلم. No, it is a pen. We ask about the star. ما هذا? What is this? You can see that it's a star. هذا نجم. This is a star. Okay, here we have exercise. We have an exercise here. We ask... ما هذا the student should answer by هذا مكتب we are going to do this inshallah in the group in the whatsapp group I will send you the so the page and I will ask and all the students should reply by voice call of course in the group and to say the word in Arabic Okay, ما هذا هذا مكتب ما هذا هذا سرير ما هذا هذا كتاب ما هذا هذا باب ما هذا هذا بيت. That should be easy in this stage for you. And then you have another kind of question. We can ask again in the group. We are going to send you in the WhatsApp group this kind of هذا بيت. You should say, نعم, هذا بيت. هذا قميص. نعم, هذا قميص. هذا مفتاح. لا, هذا قلم. هذا نجم. نعم, هذا نجم. These we will send, inshallah, in the WhatsApp when we start our lesson. Yeah? Okay, so we have, here they say, read and write. Is you have to write them as well as a homework and to send us this writing in the group. Yeah, in the group. All of you has to send his writing. Hada maktabun, you write Arabic and you write English. Hada masjidun, hada kalamun, hada sariyo. Do not write now until we post. We say, write these sentences in arabic and english okay Good. okay we are going to start a new form of asking men had men had okay men had men had We saw before ما هذا ما هذا ما هذا okay do you remember what's the meaning of ما هذا ما هذا means what is this yeah what is this and we should put a
because it's a question, you put a question mark. Yeah, ما هذا? Is what is this? Yeah. Okay. Now we are going to understand the meaning of men had men had men had and as well it's a question we have to put a question mark yeah men men had okay and it's a sukun here. Am I right? Men had. And don't forget to put an alif here. Okay? Ha is wrong. Men had. So we use men had for any question regarding a, you know, human. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? If it's a boy, we ask who is this? If it's a man, we ask who is this? If it's a lady, we ask who is this? Okay? But in Arabic, we don't use for female hada. We use different one that we learn in the next lessons. Man hada means who is this? Okay? So we can say hada. ولد هذا رجل كيف هذا ولد هذا رجل means this is a boy this is a man this is a boy هذا ولد and this is a, a man. MashaAllah. Good. Okay, so we have here three questions that we learned today. ما هذا هذا Okay. هذا and men had. We have the first one. Ma had. It's used only for animals and object. Men had. It's used only for humans. But a had is used for. Both. Bayton la had a masjidum. A had a weladun la had a rajulum. Okay? A is used for both. Okay? Let's see the examples here. Men had a who is this? Men had a who is this? Had a tabibun. This is a doctor. Men had a who is this? Hada Weladun. This is a boy. Men Hada. Who is this? Hada Talibun. This is a student. A Hada Weladun. Is this a boy? A Hada is used for both. A Hada Bayton previously. See? And now a Hada Weladun, human, is used for both. La, no, Hada Rajulun. No, this is a man. Okay. So if we ask, a hada, a hada waladun, a hada waladun, we are going to say. No, la. Hada rajulu. If we see a man, we say, "Is this a boy? Is this a boy? Is this a boy? 
and he is male. So obviously we say no, yeah? It is no, this is no, this is a man. Good. No, this is a man. لا هذا رجل. That's the answer of of it, yeah? Good. Next lesson will be just practice. من هذا it's you, man, we use men. من هذا who is this? هذا تاجر. This is a merchant. ما هذا what is this? هذا مسجد. This is a masjid. ما is used for objects. هذا كلب. This is a dog. These are new vocabulary. Learn them. هذا قط. We ask. هذا كلب. Is this a dog? We say هذا قط. This is a cat. So we say no. لا هذا قط. لا no. This is a cat. هذا حمار. This is a donkey. هذا حمار. We have the form of asking. Is this a حمار? Is donkey? هذا حمار. It is not a donkey. So we say لا هذا حصان. No. This is a horse. وما هذا؟ We have a new word here. و. وما هذا؟ وما هذا؟ و stands for and. Okay. وما هذا؟ هذا جمل. وما هذا؟ And what is this؟ هذا جمل. Okay. Jamal means a camel. Hada Jamal means this is a camel. Ma hada. What is this? Hada deacon. Good. This is a rooster. Man hada. Because he's human, yeah? He's reading. I think he's a teacher. Yeah. He's on the desk. He has a blackboard behind. So, هذا مدرسون. This is a teacher. Okay? We go to the exercise. ما هذا? هذا قلم. What is this? This is a pen. These are for more practice. This is a dog. هذا كلب. Who is this? Man, هذا. This is a doctor. هذا طبيب. This is a camel. هذا جمل. Is this a dog? Is this a rooster? هذا ديكون. نعم. Yes. Is this a dog? هذا كلب. No. لا. هذا قط. This is a cat. هذا حصان. Is this a horse? No. لا. هذا حمار. This is a donkey. هذا ولد. Look at this picture. Is this a boy? Yes. نعم. It is. We say نعم. من هذا. We are going to ask about a human. Who is this? من هذا. We answer, هذا رجل. هذا رجل. Okay? And then in this page, we have the things to remember. ما هذا؟ هذا كتاب. ما هذا؟ هذا كتاب. هذا بيت. This is the form, second form to answer. Yes. نعم. هذا بيت. نعم هذا بيت لا أول أسك لا هذا مسجد لا هذا مسجد من هذا we used to ask for humans yeah who is this okay that's perfect
Okay, and we finish the page with these notes. Uh, had is a pronoun, pronounced had uh, long, but this is written without the first alif. Yeah, we don't write some books, they write small one. Okay, some books. Okay, Arabic has no word corresponding to the N. This is the copula verb. Yeah, Arabic has no copula, doesn't have a copula. This is no word in Arabic corresponding to a uh, in English, as in this is a book. Okay, we forget to say this, I come back to the dars, for this is very important, okay? The N sound at the end of Arabic noun, kitabun is called the tinwin, okay? This, we come back to this one. The particle a present at the beginning of the statement turns into a question. Is this or are these, did, okay, all these are replaced by a. And we have some vocabularies as well here, that you have to learn before the quiz, okay? We come back to a nekira. هذا رجل هذا بيت okay. هذا بيت هذا مسجد All the end with a Tenuin, okay, Make it small, beautiful. Hada Beiton. This is called Nekia. What's the meaning of Nekia? Okay, this word is called Nekia. Means it's indefinite word. N definite. We have a definite word and we have an indefinite word. How to recognize in English it's the door, the house is definite because there is the before. In indefinite is a door, a house. It's indefinite because we use a or n. But in Arabic, to recognize the indefinite word. We have a tenwin at the end, what we call the two vowels, yeah? Either two dama, two fatha, or two kasra, depending what comes before the word. We change the vowels here, depend of the amil, what comes before, okay? So this, just to make sure you understand this, in Arabic, if you see two vowels, that means this word is indefinite. In Arabic, the indefinite we call nekira, okay? This is nekira, nekira, nekira means indefinite word. That's it? So, the definite word we will see, inshallah, in next lessons, inshallah, what we do, okay? And we are, are going to speak about these two vowels, we will cancel them, inshallah. When we finish the class, and you have to review everything, after this video, inshallah, we are going to post page after page, and we explain more and more. When we all be sure that we finish it, we go to our website to do the quiz. The quiz is very important to be done for every student. Those who do not do it, or do it only once, and fail and do not repeat until they success, they cannot go to the second or to the next lesson, yeah? Now here is the second lesson, okay? So the quiz, we are going to go to our website, it's Medina Book Quiz, book one, okay? For in this book, we have 10 lessons, as I said. You do, after each lesson, the proper quiz, yeah? Proper quiz. 
means we finish lesson one, we click on the quiz, the link we are going to post inshallah when we reach the quiz time, we post inshallah the page and you can find in our website as we well. you know the website is just teach over one million kids.com and we are going to uh, we put we click on take the quiz you have to register first in the website they only ask username email and password that to access the quiz okay continue we are going to see how is the quiz now here you click i will not give you the answer by clicking only click in the higher or more also i will click always in the second one yeah just to see show you how are things going we have 25 questions we have 15 minutes it's enough to you to finish all of the 25 yeah okay next to the second we click in the answer that we see that it's correct and you go for next don't skip don't preview don't if you complete means you skipped all this always click on next next until you finish the 25 ones okay i will see mektabun you click in the right one don't follow me next For this example of the quiz, we do only this first quiz. Other quiz, you will be able to do them by yourself. Yeah, the second for other books as well. Okay, we click on one that we think it's the correct answer, and you go to next. We click in the we click again. Then we put next. <coughs> we click again and we put next. And we click again and we put next. And we click and we put next. And we click again and we put next. And we click and we put next. And again. Until we reach the, we are going to skip some, okay? The last one will be we click and we do next there is no so we complete we finish the 25 we complete and we check for the result yeah for the results they say you have only three correct and all 11 wrong that means we did only 14 and we skipped 11 yeah because it will be the same and they say your quiz grade has failed Quiz, you, you, you need 80% to success in a quiz, means that you have to go for 20 right questions. We can review, and they will give us in the review. In the review, for example, the first one, we see only the first. Babun. Babun. What is Babun? Babun means it's a door, yeah? Those are we give you. The correct answer here they tick here for you okay this is wrong they tick here for door means this is not good answer okay that inshallah we finish with this one inshallah with this lesson hope this was a good lesson the first lesson of medina book one inshallah we will meet inshallah in the second lesson to explain it after successing in this first lesson only the second lesson will be only for those who did the quiz and 
success. There's more 20 and more good answers. Okay, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. See you next lesson, inshallah.